Okay, so I'm here today to get the truth out about what happened um, on that day with Chad and the police. Um, on that day, the police were not called out to the, my house. I initially called EMS to come out to help with medical because he was um, vomiting and he was choking and I was afraid. So I did call EMS because I didn't want him to die on my floor. So I called them and for some reason the cops showed up. So I'm here today just to let you guys know, everyone know that what the cops are saying is not true and I'm here to tell the truth about what happened and we need, we need to take a stand and that's what we're doing. I was there the whole entire time and what they're saying is a lie and it's not right and no one should have to experience something as such and it's very devastating it's traumatizing and my kids are traumatized by it It continues to happen in black communities and we're tired of it and if we don't do anything about it it's going to continue and I just want the cops to know that I am here in reference I'm going to be behind Chad 100 percent I'm particularly here today to call attention to the excessive force being used by the Sarasota Police Department this situation could have been handled entirely differently I basically was targeted just now for being in the middle of the intersection. Um, after the lights, everyone else crossed and I decided to stay in the middle recording because I'm here in a videographer and photographer capacity. So I'm just trying to document the event and I was safe. You know, I was in the middle. There's a median there. It's uh, about 10 feet across. So it wasn't like I was in any danger. And the officer, even though there was at any given time between five and 50 people on the same medium, he targeted me and threatened that he was going to take pictures of me, send them to the district attorney's office, put out a warrant for my arrest. Cops say get back! We say fight back! Cops say get back! We say fight back! I call the chief of police out. I called Bernadette DePino out personally because these are her officers and obviously they are not trained properly for these kind of situations. So I'd like to see her resign. Justice for Trump. 